What is up, everybody? To a verse TV here today, and you know, Starfield has to be a monumental game that's about to release later this year. When even Xbox haters who just hate on Xbox and Starfield consistently on a daily basis are now pre ordering their copy of Starfield, preloading exactly so you can get the early access. So, this is the Red Dragon, an infamous, infamous uh, Sony fanboy at this point who talks about Xbox on a daily basis and in some type of negative way. He showed, he revealed that he bought a preloaded Starfield. Now, what's so significant about this is because he used like 40 bucks in Microsoft reward points. Now, if you use Microsoft rewards, it takes a while to get that much revenue and 40 points, 40 dollars in points, like months to do that. But this guy trashes Xbox and Game Pass. So it's like, how do you have no points to do this unless you secretly love Xbox and you consistently are on their reward program thing? So hypocrisy bears this ugly head here people this guy trashes xbox and microsoft but he loves it because he secretly uses their reward points to buy their games and it's like you got to be super dedicated to get that much money and uh that many points 40 dollars worth of points so there you go as like i use microsoft rewards on a pretty much consistent basis i don't even have that much money in points so this guy definitely <laughs> uses the bean gap the um the the daily login thing to do you to give you to get points so he's pretty consistent to be honest so it's just fascinating this guy trash talks starfield all the time but he wants to play it day one which i don't blame him it looks like a great game but it, why are you not giving xbox credit then at this point like it's just weird it's very bizarre but i don't think those guys will be the only one i think there's be more sony fanboys follow suit because starfield is a fantastic game so i don't blame him even at xbox hey even this game <laughs> this game is stronger than Xbox hate and they can't they gotta admit that this game is amazing at this point so he doesn't realize he just exposed that he plays Xbox enough to earn reward points yeah supports game pass as well and this dude was saying game pass is gonna destroy the industry but he gladly supports it though so very weird hypocritical at this point like if I didn't like game pass I wouldn't use it but he's definitely using it in enough so that he's has points to buy this game at this kind of price I'm trying to figure out a way to explain how, you play, how he's playing Starfield to his PlayStation fan base. <laughs> you can just admit that Microsoft makes great stuff and just leave it as that. But it can just be that simple. Not just that, but it's the upgrade. So he has Game Pass. Yes, the person who trashes Game Pass has Game Pass. Make that make sense. Like, I trash PS Now streaming games consistently or PS Plus streaming games, but... I don't stream games from PS Plus, so I at least keep my stuff consistent. This guy is, is all over the place with his, with his rhetoric. Red Dragon bends the knee and fealty to Starfield. If you can't beat them, you join them. <laughs> what is this comment? That Alpha Mare in the stables bows down. Now the rest will follow. That is hilarious. Ponies have no choice. You want to play Starfield, either get a PC with Xbox Game Pass or get an Xbox. Yeah, that's that simple, to be honest. <laughs> They're just saying this dude has been kneeling like Game of Thrones or something. Oh, man. Getting knocked down by dominoes at this point. That's like... I just, I just want to see these guys just admit that Xbox is just amazing. I know, you know, they, they use their rhetoric as that Xbox hate, the Xbox has no games, but you know, this game is definitely going to change a lot of people to buy an Xbox or playing this game on PC or whatever, so. Um, use the rewards, but trash talks them to keep up the appearances. Yes, the appearance of being an Xbox hater. I was like, what, do you, do you get rep for being an Xbox hater, I guess? I don't know. Playing enough Xbox for at least 40 bucks worth of reward points is wild. Although he's definitely going to smack talk smack talk the game on Twitter, but secretly inside he's going to wish it was his own favorite box. Called him a fraud. <laughs> he talks more about Starfield than any Xbox guy. Yeah, that's definitely true. He literally is this meme. No thanks, buddy. I'm a PlayStation fanboy as he's refusing a brain being offered to him. <laughs> wow, what a combo of hypocrisy. 
Playing an Xbox game via Game Pass, purchasing early access reward points, you can't make it up. Yeah. He's an Xbox enthusiast at this point. Xbox Game Pass enthusiast at this point. That's where those one-star reviews are from. But he said he had a powerful PC. You console guys on both sides really shot her in your own feet. It's happening. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just like it's just a result of it's like common sense. Like you have an amazing game like Starfield, which is game of the year, pretty much game of the decade. People are saying, so of course, even these haters are gonna want to play the game. Like, of course, it's obvious. Bend in the knee, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think it's even a bad thing to be honest. It's like. They can actually play games now instead of hating on Twitter. So I don't think it's not necessarily a bad thing that these guys are buying this game. So as soon as been playing Xbox around those points, I wonder what all this hating has PlayStation followers think. I am slightly curious. <laughs> uh, even this guy has Game Pass that says it all. Yeah, it's the best deal any game in right now. So of course they say it's not, but it is it obviously is at this point. Even he has it. Um, but what is worth I'm glad Starfield brings up the joy in people even the most toxic Playstation fanboys to trash Xbox games on a daily basis if you can't beat them join them some tweets say more than what is written that is very true <laughs> I mean cause does he really hate Xbox then if he has enough points to buy the game the premium edition of the game I mean I don't think you can hate Xbox at that point and if you're using Game Pass so, imagine having to lie about what you do. Uh, have, imagine having to lie about what you like in order to gain favor from strangers online. Pathetic, damn, Red Dragon. Okay. I do find it hilarious because he just proved he's on Xbox and using Microsoft products for a long time. Yeah, he loves Microsoft. <laughs> this guy, this guy strictly loves Microsoft and Xbox in general. So I'm gonna conclude it right here. People are saying this guy's a fraud. He hates Xbox for clout. When it's like, I don't know how much clout you really get if you on Xbox, but okay. But yeah, definitely weird that he just proved that he really strictly loves Xbox and he's excited to play Starfield, which is a great game. But just give Xbox credit. It's like, bro, oh, I can't just do that. I don't know. But they just, I guess, expose themselves at this point. So it's just even more hilarious. But definitely want to see your comments down below. Leave a like if you like this video. And always thanks for watching and peace.